Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Um, in the last episode, we beat our first dungeon, uh, and we're told to go to Hyrule Castle, and we also got some upgrades as far as weapons go, so here we are. And here we meet Saria, who catches us leaving. And here we get our first ocarina, which will be very useful here soon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be able to do a lot of things with that. Um, obviously, I'm kind of spoiling it if I say that we're going to upgrade our ocarina to the ocarina of time, but I don't really think that's a secret anymore. Um, so, oh, when you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of the, hope you think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Um, yeah, um, there's, we're going to be learning, because the way these work is that you interact with characters and then you learn a song and that song does a certain thing because you know that's kind of how it works here but yeah um so anyway the goal for this episode is to get through the next dungeon um i've got like 40 minutes here before i have to leave and i definitely think that that's definitely possible along with doing some other stuff um, and, uh, remember how I said Navi was one of the most annoying characters? I think this guy right here is actually the most annoying character. Because you can never skip anything he says, they don't tell you who he is or where he comes from, and all he does is tell you stuff you already know. Um, so, and... When he says, did you get all that? They give you the no as the default option, which is even worse. So, but anyway, um, so one thing that you want to do here in order to get there in daytime is to just face forward and then target and then back step. It goes by a lot faster. And if you just go regular walking speed, you're definitely not going to get where we need to go um, before nightfall. So good idea to just go backwards and then when it starts to turn here you just focus on the bridge turn around and go straight there and if you're doing it right you should be in a straight line and you should be able to hit the gate before nightfall um yeah and actually I'm gonna hang out here because it's almost nightfall um and we can... Ooh, that was really close we can do something cool here once, once night. Dang it, I did not mean to do that. Oh boy, alright. Whatever. So, uh, I guess we can introduce these enemies here. These are Stalchild. Stalchilds? Stalchildren? I don't know. They're, they don't do, they don't pose much of a threat. They just, um... They're just annoying, and they're also completely immune to water, so you, you could just stay in water for a while and just swim. And that would work. See, they fall down, and you can get all this free stuff. Um, can I just swim over to it? Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, so I didn't mean to get stuck out here at night, but there was something I was going to show you, and then I messed it up trying to do that. But we can show it to you anyway. I might cut this part, actually, but... Oh, you can also just, like, get up here, hang out here, and wait for Son. I've been told that the night actually goes by faster if you watch the moon. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Anyway. Let's 
stay out of their reach. Um, okay. Now, anyway, something we can do with this drawbridge is we can walk up this chain and we can actually get rupees from it. So, it's always a good idea to do that. Um, and, oh, I should have gone back there, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because um, there is something that we can do in here. Which, um, you know, you don't have to do it, but I'm going to. And all these pots have money in them, so you can smash them up if you want. Um, I don't think I'm going to get all of them, because I don't really need the money, but... Um, roll into this guy, and we find a gold sculpture left. And, uh, how many is that? Because we've got to be getting close to ten. Um, no, four, okay. Well, not as close as I thought we were, but... I think I can... I think we can get the other six in this episode, no problem. I know of... Um... I know of at least three more we can get, but that's okay. Anyway, so this girl right here is pretty important. You don't want to talk to her. Hey, your clothes are different. You're not from around here, are you? What do you do? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. Literally, like, if I had a nickel every time that I heard that from anybody, any character in this game, like... It's a wrap, but whatever. So anyway, over here is where we really need to go. And this is Hyrule Castle. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool place. Sorry, there's a motorcycle out there. Oh boy. This guy, again. What he's telling you, he's telling you a pretty important um, quirk, I guess, about this game, is that when you're on, when you're in a town, you don't see. And the other thing is, he says, "Do you want to hear what I said again?" And he gives yes as the default option. Like, oh my gosh, whatever. Um, Oh, anyway, um, the, there is, I don't know if we'll get it in daytime right here, but there is, if you roll into this tree right here, oh, we will get it in daytime. Look at that. Another gold sculpture right there. That's number five. Okay, great. Um, now what we have, what we have to do here is you just walk up to the gate, which, you know, no surprise here, you're not gonna get... He's not gonna let you through. You, it's funny, you can actually come back later and he'll say, do you really want to come through here? And he's like, uh, okay, I'll do it for 10 rupees. And he's like, keep it a secret. And so you can do that if you want, which is kind of funny. Um, but you can climb up here and you gotta make sure you get it right on that little middle strip there, otherwise you'll fall down. But yeah, you wanna climb through there and then you can either jump off there or you can fall down here. I like to fall down here just because I love the way these... I love the way that little room looks for some reason. It's just so medieval. But whatever. So anyway, we get, get to the other side here and then we see the guards up there. What we're going to do is we want to immediately turn left here and climb up here and... Get a Sarah sculpture in here? No. Okay. I don't think there's any in any of these trees, but trees that look like that, you can usually roll into them, and then you can um, get something out of them. So I don't know. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um. Oh, you know what? We weren't supposed to be out here yet. We need to go. 
back down here. Um, because we need to get something from Malin, or Milan, I guess. Malin. I always pronounced it as Malin, but see, but it's so weird. She's not here. Um, but then if you just go back, she is there. So I don't know what that was all about, but anyway, we need to talk to her. Oh, we going to the castle, which might find my dad. He must have fallen asleep somewhere outside the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Tee hee. Anyway, she's going to give us an egg. Yeehaw. We're farmers now. Um. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Anyway. That's going to become important later. But it's nighttime now, so we gotta go back here and actually do something. Um, and if we, I think is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Get one of these dogs to follow you, and then you can go back here. And uh, is, is, is it this one? Is it this? I don't remember. I don't. Oh, I almost never do this, or I haven't done it in a while. No, it's not that one. It must be the. Okay. Well, I guess we can. Point. Oh, yes. Okay. It's in here. Can't find my puppy anywhere. I need you to look for it, please. Anyway, I don't. Oh, I don't remember off the top of my head which one, like which dog is actually the right one. I want to say it's one of these, one of the brown ones, but I could very well be mistaken on that. But basically you can get him to follow you if you just kind of like walk up to him. See, he's following me now. And take him back in here. I don't think this is the right one, but it might be. Arg, that's not my dog. She's like, how can you mix up my mutt with that? Well, she literally didn't tell us anything about the dog. And I don't remember which one it is. Um. Yeah. But it's imp there's a reason for doing this. Um. So it's a white dog, actually. I remembered now. Um, is it that one? Anyway, it's one of the white ones. One of the white ones. Sorry about that. The one here, is it this one? Nope, okay. Sorry. Oh, 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 all right, not the brown ones. We want the white ones. Is it that one? Is it this one? All right, come on. Let's go. Yes, okay, it is that And we get our first of many pieces of heart. I'm going to do my best to get all the heart pieces in this game. Because it's very, very important for, like, health, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Let's go back up through here. And... We need to climb up this way and basically go back the way we were going before I messed it up and got the wrong thing. Doesn't matter. Um, like I said, I like to fall down here because I just love this room for some reason. It's literally like, it's so weird. It's just the simplest room that anyone could ever possibly think of, but it's just, there's something about it, man. I don't know what it is. 
Anyway, don't go up to those guards. Go up here. You know, I'm sure if you said, if Link would have said, hey, I got orders from the Great Deku Tree, then they probably would know what that is, because the Great Deku Tree seems like he's a pretty well-respected guy, anyway. Um, you want to hop in the river here, the moat, um, for some rupees, but also because you don't want to get caught. And... And we uh, chicken hatched from our egg, aren't we? Cool. Is there a sculpture in here? No, okay. No, I remember what else that tree is for. It's important, though. Or it'll be important later. Anyway, so we get the chicken out. We set it to one of the buttons here, and we wake up this guy. What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. Went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. Look, 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 look. Oh boy. Yeah, he kind of looks like Mario. But there's a lot of characters in other Nintendo games that look like Mario. Um. Oop, grab the bump. Anyway, what you need to do is you need to grab the blocks here, and um, you want to push it through so that they fall over here. Um, off of this ledge, yeah. Um, there's nothing in that door back there. You can't even open it, I don't think. I don't it doesn't, like, it's not even, like, a real door, like, I literally think, I think it's just, like, texture painting. Um, but, whatever, I know there was, I mean, I want to know what's behind that door just as much as you all do, but, I mean, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can really do there, and, you know, just to prove it, like, see, we can't even walk up there. Oh well. Anyway, we climb on top of here, and we look over here, and then we go down there. And here we get the castle courtyard, which looks freaking awesome on this GameCube ROM. One thing you'll notice if you got a really keen eye between the GameCube version and the N64 version is that the GameCube version, the colors are a lot more vibrant, a lot more poppy. And, um, I don't know, they just look a lot better to me. But that's just me, you know, like, I mean, anybody can have any number of feelings. It's easier to go across the top there if you know what you're doing. This is one of the more challenging ones here. Uh, you basically just gotta keep moving with the guards and you should be okay. Yeah. These guards have pretty terrible eyesight, actually. Um, where is the other one? There's supposed to be two in here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Usually go this way. Because they're both just going clockwise. So, we just go that way, and then we turn in here, and this is where we need to go. And, um, we can actually get, I'll show you this here, see these pictures of Mario and Peach and uh, Bowser and Luigi, I think Yoshi's in the other one. Uh, yeah, there's Yoshi. And if you actually shoot it with your slingshot, you get 20 rupees out of it. Even though we could only carry nine more, it's still kind of neat. And what's funny is if you go over here and you shoot this window, that guy shows up and says, hey, don't cause any trouble. 
And he throws a dang bomb at you. So, anyway, that's kind of funny. But this is who we really need to talk to. And I actually might not have as much time as I thought I did, but... Um, because this cutscene is kind of long, but I think we can make it work, and I can we can get some other items before we we can get some other items before we get to the second dungeon. You have to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? Why, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, um, yep. You had a dream, of course, because. You know, would this be a mythological epic game without a dream? You know, dreams, prophecies. But the light turned into a green figure holding... It turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone. And this is a prophecy that someone would see. Whatever it is. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I'm Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family. Isn't this exciting here? Um, legend goes like this, that we've really already heard from the Great Decker Tree, but we don't really... Can't really do much about that. Three goddesses of the church. Gosh, I wish I could skip this. And it's not that it's not epic, because it is, but like, I've seen this probably close to 50 times, and it gets kind of, uh, it's kind of annoying. Uh,. You can read it for yourself there if you want, or um, basically what she's saying is that if you touch the Triforce, you get a wish, and only one person can do it. And so, if a good person does it, then it'll then the land will be good. And if an evil person does it, oh, I didn't know I could skip that. Heck yeah. Yes. Um, another element from my dream. The dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. We look through the window and there's so many questions here, like, so many actions, like, what is up? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he's not sincere. The dark clouds that covered up that high rule. And, da, 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 da. and obviously, Ganon was the one that... Um, that the Deku Tree was talking about. Gosh. Um... However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be no less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And now he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay, sure. It's kind of funny from... It kind of, like, alternates every game that uh, Ganon's feature, and they go from Ganondorf to Ganon, because in, um, in, um, gosh, I'm so sorry, because in Wind Waker, they call him Ganon. In this game, they call him Ganondorf. In Twilight Princess, they call him Ganondorf. In uh, Zelda 2, they call him Ganon. I don't think we actually saw Ganon in Zelda 1. I mean, I'm no expert, so I'm sure somebody... 
can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but whatever. Anyway, moving on. We gotta talk to this girl here. And that is a fierce warrior. She's an Impa of the Sheikahs. You're a courageous boy heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. Played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There's a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Yum, bum, 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 bum. Then probably one of the most useful melodies we will learn, and also the first one that we will learn. Yum, 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 yum. And I don't really care about playing the rhythm necessarily, and neither does the game. I kind of like to play it as fast as I can just to save time. Anyway, your ocarina sparkles a lot like that whenever you learn a new song, so... We learned Zelda's lullaby! Woohoo! If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble! Oh my god! Just fall asleep while you're talking, why don't you? Good lord. Um... You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. Yep. Makes sense to me. So I'm going to Yeah, okay. Princess is waiting for you to return with the return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. And boom. Why can't I do that? Like, she's not the only one in the character in this game that does that. Anyway, before we go there, we've actually there's not really a good time to do this, so might as well do it now. Um, we can back step over there, and speed things up a little bit. Um. Cause we gotta learn a few more songs actually and you really kind of have to go out of your way to learn them not really that fun um, but one of them is up here we're also gonna get two other things while we're here Lon Lon Ranch sweet uh, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go in here, and this could take me a few tries, because it's not hard, but I have trouble with it, if that makes sense. Anyway, Talon's asleep over here. Wake already? <laughs> well, all the funny forest kid from the other day. Thanks a lot for waking me up. Took me some doing, but I finally got Malin to back in a good mood. <laughs> yup, 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 yup. Three times on your hand, just say, well, how about a little game? These three Kukos I have here are special Super Kukos. I'm gonna throw these Kukos into there. That there gaggle of normal Kukos. That there gaggle. Wow. I mean, I'm not one to say what you can and can't say in your own world here, but like, wow. Alright. That's one. And grabbing, I always have a problem grabbing them, too. No, that's not one. Okay, that's one. Gosh. Uh. Come on. Oh, that's one. Alright, 12 seconds. Come on. Come on, where are you? Get it. Dang it. Okay. Let's do it again. Oh, 
struggle a lot on that one. But anyway, the reward is something cool. Very own Lon Lon Milk. Uh, which is cool because it actually lasts a pretty long time. But more importantly, we get the bottle for it. So... Um... Yeah. Alright, so now moving out here, we've got something else we can do. Oh, oh, man. I had a busy day today. But, that's okay. Anyway, we're gonna talk to Milan here. Oh, it's the very boy again. Oh, 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 yo, I got the of my dad. Oh, oh, yo, yo. oh, my lord. I don't even know what accent I'm trying to do. I don't know if that's, like, goofy, but, like... Uh, I don't know. Looks like your opponent is scared of you. Uh huh. We gotta talk to her like five times there. Okay. Anyway, cute ocarina. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is pronounced ocarina, by the way. There's people who are gonna say ocarina. That's wrong. That is incorrect. That is false. It is ocarina. Google it. Um. Anyway. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, I'm so sorry that you have to listen to all that. Good lord. Anyway, we learned Epona's song. Can't do much with it right now, but that's going to be useful later on. Anyway, now she likes us. Anyway, we need to do one more thing here, and that is over here. Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do everything that I wanted to do in this video, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. What I don't get done in this episode, we can pick up in the next one, no problem. Although I kinda would like to be at the... I would kind of like to be at the, um... at the... entrance of the temple by the end of this episode, but... or the dungeon, sorry, not, not the temple. We don't have temples yet. Anyway, just get into this little back corner here. And once it doesn't lag. Okay, come on. There we go. And here is heart piece number two. Yum ba da da da. Sweet. Alright, cool. And then we can get up out of here and we're all good good to go. We're good to go to Pacarico Village. I actually know of another Skulchula that we can get. Um, but I don't think we can do it in this episode, actually. We're gonna have to come back for it. Um, Skulchulas are... The gold Skulchulas, anyway. They usually... There's some spots where they only show up at night. Um, so you gotta... Got to make sure that, um... Got to make sure that you're... that it's nighttime when you get them. And also, um... There's some that you can't get without certain items. 
um, one of which we will get fairly soon. The other will come a little bit later. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to backstep all the way to where we need to go because I'm trying to speed this up. But... Whoop. Anyway, we needed to get on that bridge. Oh, I gotta walk all the way down there. Wait, what? Hold up. Can't get... Oh, I can. I can. Okay, good. Gosh, I forgot about that. Anyway, um... We're gonna go up these steps here. Oh, oh, man. I apologize for all the yawning. Man, I shouldn't... I should have known better than to record this episode right now, but... Anyway, since it's nighttime, we can get a few more gold sculptulas here. And then I think we're going to call it quits for the episode there. Um, and then we're going to head up the mountain um, once we get... We're going to actually head up the mountain and do all the stuff in the Goron City in the next episode. So you can roll into that tree, get one right there. That would be number six, I believe. Let's check. Yes, okay, number six. Um, we can get one. Up here. And there's another one. Uh, hold up, wait, actually, is that guy up there? Yeah, I'm... Oh, uh, there's one we can get right here, too, that I always forget about. But there's something else we can do with this ladder right here. That was number six, so this will be number seven. Now, if you do this right, you're not really supposed to do this right now, but you can jump sideways, and you can land on this fence right here, and then you can climb up here. And you're not supposed to do this right now. Hey, good to see you again. You're not supposed to do this until later in the game, but we can get this heart piece early if we do, so... I'm going to. Um, there's one more right here, which is number nine. Um, I, gosh, I want to say that there's another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's number ten. So. Now that we have ten, um, you get a pry. Every ten sculptulas, you're gonna want to come into this room right here because we can get you get a prize for every ten. Um, so basically, it's a curse that you're trying to break if you defeat all two hundred, I think. But either way, we can get the adult's wallet on our first 10, so now we can carry 200 rupees, which will be extremely useful. Now, most people that I've seen don't get the don't get the adult's wallet that early. Um, yeah. And there's actually, there's one more thing that we need to do. It's back here, and I think I'm going to wait till the next episode to do that. Um, because I got things I need to do tonight. There's another sculpture law on the wall over there, but we can't get that just yet. Um, anyway, so I will... Basically what this is going to involve is it involves entering this grave up here. Um, but I think we're going to save that for the next episode because I have things I need to go. I, I have places I need to go, and I think this seems like a good stopping point. So we'll save... And um, 
I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody.